guys, welcome back to Minecraft Down Under, this is episode 36, so last episode we installed the ceiling of the XP farm, as you can see, we managed to dig out a, uh, like a funnel going up to the ocean floor, allowing some natural light to flood in. At this time, you can't really see the sun, but when the sun does hit, obviously midday, you can see it right through the freaking glass, which is freaking awesome stuff. Uh, we started putting some color in. Last episode, I did say I was going to replace the corners here and uh, put glowstone. Now, guys, for, for everyone following me at home, I did not replace the corner. Just saying that now, because some people will replace the corner. Um, I just, all I did is laid the glowstone right over the top of the, each of the corners there, and um, okay, so straight back into it, I really need to, to move my bum, we need to get real, real like, real straight back into it, I gotta go downstairs and quickly grab some colour, because that's what we're doing, we're gonna be adding some prismarine and all that good stuff, so we'll get rid of some of this, get some extra glowstone and orange co uh, concrete there, and a prismarine, and I'll show you what we're quick we're going to be doing to the arches before we start working on the center of the farm here, which is meant to be the enchanting area. We're going to have we got canals to dig out. We've got uh, mini swords to build, and I'll talk about those really shortly. It's going to look bloody. It should look epic when we're done. Okay, so what I'm thinking of is, see this corner block, you know how it stops here? See these corner blocks? What I, what I want to do is replace those. I want to replace that whole little section there with prismarine bricks, okay? So we're going to use some sandstone and some scaffolding to get on up. So let's get straight up into it here. Got to get some, got to get some work done this episode. Boom, boom, boom. So, as I said, I'm just replacing this corner. See what it looks like, stand back, and then sort of, if it works, then we're going to continue straight on. So just sort of replace as we go. Boom, 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 boom. Which, what I'm trying to do is wrap the glowstone in prismarine here, which should look quite sexy. I don't want to wrap the top part. I want a uh, almost like a, a glass effect, which I will explain. Well, I'll show you. I'll point it out shortly. When we actually get to that point. So I'm just replacing this whole little line there. Oh, crikey. I'm going to have to scaffold on out. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, that one there, gone. Okay, what we'll have to do is just put a placement block there to get those three done. And then get rid of that. Just that. That's all I'm doing. Seriously. Just that corner like that. So same with this. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three. This is a little bit easier because there's a there's placement holders there. Leave that alone. Let's, I'm trying not to go too crazy because you can overdo it. And what I'm worried about is the floor, the amount of canals and, and color that's going into the floor, I'm probably going to not go too nuts on the walls because this place is going to look like a bloody disco. So got to be real careful on how far we go with that. But the XP farm should look, oh yeah, look at that absolutely sexy absolutely sexy i want orange in the build as well like orange arches so probably what i would do is probably maybe this arch here or this arch here depends i want it close to the prismarine so i'll probably replace this with some orange cement concrete whatever you want to call it pretty much same stuff sort of follow that around and like the larger arch and then if you do the same with this side, it will start to frame literally the glowstone and that's what i really 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 want there but that there you go from that to that absolutely sexy guys absolutely freaking sexy Struth. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. I think what I'll do is get all four sides done and do one complete arch just to see what she looks like before making my decision. But I like that corner bit there. I'm going to do each corner now, um, which I'll be right back, guys. I'll be right back. Alrighty then, guys. I am back and we are getting things done today. Check it out. 
literally finished off all the arches around the room. I was go I did one, and then I stood back, and I sort of had a squeeze, and I was thinking, flame and galah. I really like that. So I, I just went with it. I just went with it. So I did the entire room, and wow, it is really coming together. We are getting stuff done this episode. We are really getting stuff done, especially the room here. And it's way brighter in here. It's not so dark and doom and gloom. All right, so let's move straight on to the next thing. Uh, what I'm going to do, I need is some markers. I really need some markers for this one. So we'll go back down here and we'll go ahead and grab. I'm nearly out of freaking orange concrete, though. I'll tell you that for a fact. Join those two together. And I think for the markers, because I don't have any. We'll use wood oak, I think, for marking. I need some more slab. I'm going to need some slabs for what we're just about to do. And some stairs. And I know for a fact we have some stairs in here. And I know we got some glowstone. And we'll make some more slabs real quick. Bing! All right. Okay. So let's design the center of the room now. Come on. Let's do this, guys. All right. So what we want to do is it's got to be it's got to be sort of one block off the ground. Um it's got to be sort of one block off the ground and I can't really touch where the water is because the water there's going to be water canals connecting and spreading off into the distance. So I've got to I'm, I'm sort of picturing it in my head, so if I just go quiet here, I'm just, my mind's ticking over. I'm, I'm trying to come up with <laughs> something for the center here. Okay, so, we, we can do this, we can do this. So, I would say we'd leave a, at least a gap, so just say that there would be water canal, that there would be water canal, that there can be a solid block, or stair. We'll probably use a stair as a marker. So let's just do this probably all the way around, sort of get us going in the right direction here for the center. Boom, 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 all the way around. Now, quickly mark out. So this is a step up. And what we'll do is put a glowstone block in next. Bam, 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 bam. Now, is this going to be enough room for an enchanting table to sit in here? Uh, I like my enchanting tables to sit in the ground. Now, this is just a marker. This is just a marker, and I'm, I keep repeating myself because you guys are probably like, What the frig are you doing, Data? Perfect. Okay, so pretend these are bookshelves. That's an enchanting table. We might have a really sweet pattern in the floor. I, I need to get some cyan and or some, something terracotta, obviously. I'm definitely putting terracotta into the build, so hold your horses for that one. Um, and maybe... No, because I want to I wanna sort of cut the corner here when putting the canals in, so if we can just sort of maybe wrap this entire thing, that would be nice. Got some glowstone in here anyway. There we go. Wrap it literally right around, straight across. Well, Bob's your uncle, that, it fit quite snug actually. Very, very snug. Yep, that definitely fit very, very snug. All right, let's work on these freaking canals, shall we? Let's work on these canals. So what I want to sort of do, I've got buckets somewhere. I've got buckets of water down. We might have to create an infinity water source, but let's go ahead and cut a bit of these out, shall we? So what about three? One, one, two, three. Yep, just making sure it's all good and just sort of follow that around. There we go. So do the same thing over here. So what, one, two, three. See, that connected quite nicely. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, th whoop. Yep, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's a little bit too much, Daddy. A fruit loop. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so that should be relatively easy just to connect those together now. So clear out this. And obviously, we've got to replace the bottoms because we're not going to be able to have, obviously, uh, stone brick on the ground that's kind of ugly so we'll just wrap this around see this is our first little canal and then we've got to come up with a bridge okay i'm thinking sideways bridges i don't know about you guys but i'm thinking sideways bridges for this all right fill all this in i'm gonna ha i'm gonna have to go get my buckets it's gonna be a necessary as soon as i plump soon as i fill this in it's gonna start flooding in which i want the whole room to just be flooded with um i should be i should be getting that iron screw it 
I'm trying not to, to waste too much of you gobbles time here. Alright. Crikey. Okay, so this is almost full. Uh, we're going to have to seal that up. I'm going to have to make a stair sideways there. Because we don't want it flooding down into the mine shaft. That could be extremely bad. Whoa! I think we just made all that obsidian underneath us. Or, oh, no. Lava, sorry. Turn into obsidian. So if we need obsidian, we know that there is some, a lot, underneath the, uh, the XP farm here. Alright. This is, oh, this is coming along nicely. Alright. So close. And then we can flood all this and work on the bridges. Okay. That's why I've got the half slabs, by the way. I'm thinking half slabs. Definitely half slabs for this. Does this feel different than near this corner here? It feels a little bit squished. Might have to make it wider. Okay. Done. Bob's your uncle. Okay, done. Alright, before we go ahead and flood it all, I think we will work on the... Because what I want to do, so obviously this is coming together freaking fantastically. The enchanting table system in the middle, maybe hanging a chandelier in the middle here, some, I don't know, something like that in the future might be freaking excellent. But what I want to do is sort of separate the room. I want to separate the room here and, and have do, have patterns in each of the corners here. Obviously we're going to have a storage room in like storage on one wall here. We're going to have obviously a portal going home another storage so you know the room is going to definitely got to be used up and look freaking gorgeous at the same time just my mind's thinking over what to do here so we should just go ahead and go for the we'll start with the we'll start with the corner here yeah see this is going to turn into the sword i want yeah so i don't know if this is going to work i don't know if this is going to work guys hang on a second because when you go sideways like this, you can actually create a Minecraft sword if you're using the proper building blocks here. We'll just plop our torch down here. This might actually work. It might be a bit squished though. So we'll just say, what, we'll say about two to so one, two. Well, that really didn't turn out how I wanted it to, to, to. I thought maybe I could fit like a chunky sword in the corner, like going in the way, and use it as a walk platform as well. Like, you know, see, see sort of a shape of a sword going on there? Yeah, I thought to myself maybe we could do that in each direction. You know how cool that would be facing out from the center here, the enchanting table, and like swords going out? But to be honest, it's kind of not working out how I want it to be. So remember underneath underneath this would be water and this would be sort of our bridges allowing us to go over things you know so i've got the water i've got an epic center i've got freaking everything going but this is <laughs> it didn't work it needs to be longer and it would be perfect bloody it would be a perfect sword a little shape of a, a minecraft sword anyway it'd be bloody brilliant so we're just going to continue with this anyway. I'm not going to scrap the idea. I think it's a fiend freaking tastic idea still. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just dig um, like this all the way to the end. There we go. Well, there we go. And that can go too. Oh no, that can't go. My bad, my bad. Fill that back in. So underneath, underneath guys, literally underneath the whole thing as we go, see, connect it together, and that's all good, and so it's got to be, it's got, we've got, to, I've got a lot of flooding to do, and that's just being totally honest, so we can get rid of all that, that can go, this can all be carved out, because it's all going to, I'm going to have to replace all the stone, but, um, um, I think the same as the other side. Just got to make it the same as the other side. Look at that. Hang on. Have a look. Oh, look at that. Water canals. Water canals is sort of a shape of a sword. We could call it a dagger, I suppose. There we go. Shape of a dagger. Shape of a dagger. Struth. Okay, it's kind of disappointing because I thought it would be pretty freaking epic to have like a sword walkway. 
But at the end of the day, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, you know. Nothing really you can do about it, eh? Um, obviously going to replace all the freaking stone on the floor. Got to be careful at this bit because, again, we have, um, let's try get a, a little way, another way down here. Um, got it. Alright, got it. Fantastic. Alright, we got another little way down. We can seal this up now and I can still work. Alright, so that's all good to go. Got to do the, exactly the same over here. See what I mean? It's going to be splitting this entire section up quite nicely. If we have this over here, it's going to look freaking... It's so freaking epic. It's not even funny. So let me go ahead and duplicate this over here, which should be relatively easy to do, because all I went is sort of... Ba-boom, 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 like this. All the way until I hit the edge. See, easy stuff, and then I sort of come out on the fourth block, so one, two, three, and then four. Uh-oh, slabs. There you go. See, very easy shape to do. There, okay, so that's exactly replicated on the that side and this side here. Too bad I don't have different colored slabs. I think that might just make it, you know, pop that little bit extra, I reckon. But look at this, it's sort of making the middle stand way out. So obviously I've got to remove all this now. All the way to the end and just carve out the center like I did on the other side. And it should be relatively easy going from there I reckon. We can have a look at some of the patterns we can do. Oh, Strews, she's coming along bloody beautifully. Alrighty then, guys, I am back. Check it out, I did the other side. I even added in some blooming glowstone underneath the daggers. Yeah, that's what we're calling them now. It's called the shape of a dagger. That's right, beautiful, both sides. See how it separates the room really nicely? Becomes a walkway as well as a pattern. Freaking brilliant. Don't get me wrong. It's very blended in because it's all just sandstone. And I know you're probably pointing that out right now. It's like, data. It's all bloody sandstone. Relax. Relax. We haven't really started on the, the outlines yet. Trust me. I think, see this, see the orange uh, concrete here? How about we sort of outline that all the way around here? On all the way around that, like, so when we do each corner, because I'm going to do the other corners off cam, but, like, just sort of follow this outline. Oh, it's going to look beautiful. And then imagine a terracotta pattern in the middle here. And then the the blue will br also break it up nicely. Then the center, we've got to obviously uh, put the enchanting table and the pattern in the middle here. Probably not use the glowstone here. Bloody struve. So much to go. Let's go ahead and flood it. See what she looks like flooded, though. So let's go downstairs and unload some of the stuff that we've got on us. Bam, bam, bam. See if we can't get down. I'm going to have to sort of uh, reshape this a bit. There we go. We Wibbly wobbly. Done. Whoop. Okay. So, two buckets. One, two. Check and check. Hopefully this won't take too long to flood. With just two buckets. You, you just don't know. You just don't know. So first things first. Boom. Just let it flood everywhere. Boom. Flood it away. We even we won't yeah, we'll have to flood this way and this way too. And even though they're not done yet, we'll flood that way and that way too. All right. So hopefully we can just take the bucket of water and sort of just dump it and then grab and dump and grab. No. It's going to be that much of a pain in the bum. There we go. I got it, guys. Once it's going, she's off like a rocket. Look at this. Yeah, once you've got it going, oh, so freaking easy. There we go. So sort of just shoveling buckets in now. There we go. Lovely. See? All right. Ha! Ah, phew! I was a little bit stressed there. I was like, crap. This is going to take ages to flood, but once we got it going, it's pretty simple stuff. All right. Just keep pouring the buckets out in the corners here. Just pour it out. Look at that. The blue is going to break everything up so nicely. Boom. All right, can I grab one from there? Grab one. Just keep pouring it in the corner. There we go. Look at that. Pour it in each of the corners here. This will break it up quite nicely. It's very dark this side, isn't it? There we go. All 
Right, pop a torch down there. Oh, Struth, okay. Well, as I was saying, I was really concerned about that being really totally bad. But as you can see, perfect. Absolutely freaking perfect there. Alright. One more side to go and then we can have a squeeze and see what she looks like. Just keep shoveling. Keep shoveling. Just keep shoveling. <laughs> Just keep shoveling. Oh, crikey. It's like we're bailing the boat out. Like, my God, we're sinking data. Oh, truth. Alright. Oh. Really? Didn't get this side? I guess I didn't get this side. Come on. Connect and make some solid sources. Brilliant. Okay. Um, here. Um, I think we're done. Oh, a couple more on this side. Alright, Bob's your uncle. Alright, Bob. We are done. She is 100% flooded canal. Alright, now we can sort of build ourselves up a little bit here. Have a look at it like it's flooded now. Oh, look at that guy. See? See what I'm saying? The blue even just took away just took away the, the underneath. That's all it had to do is break it up a little bit more. Once we, as I said, once we've got the freaking outlines and everything in Star and Store and the terracotta and, and it all broken up, this thing is going to look freaking mind blowing i reckon this this area is going to be bloody mind blowing another one to add to the selection of the chick the we've got an epic chicken farm and we're going to have an epic freaking enchanting area it's going to look legendary it's going to look bloody legendary guys all right we're going to go ahead and call it i'm going to go ahead and work on um saw uh dagger number three and four and then flood the rest of the room ah oh, that's right we are bloody close all right guys thanks for watching don't forget if you're enjoying the content, please smash those buttons. Even if it's a dislike, if you like, you know, just you don't like the episode, dislike it. If you like the episode, give it a thumbs up. Crikey, it's that simple. Also, leave a comment below; it'd be much appreciated. Um, and if you're super enjoying the series, don't forget to share this on your favorite social media. And I'll catch you all later.